Floyd Mayweather has defeated Conor McGregor in a TKO in round 10 after the two men squared off in what was billed as the fight of the century in the highly anticipated and Hollywood-studded fight in Las Vegas on Saturday night. After winning his 50th undefeated match, Mayweather swore it would be his last fight ever as the 40-year-old made off with the coveted money belt and at least $100 million for his night's work. The money-spinning showdown is likely to break all records and surpass the $600 million generated by Mayweather's fight with Manny Pacquiao in 2015. This was my last fight tonight. For sure, Mayweather, heading into second retirement with an unblemished 50-0 record to surpass heavyweight legend Rocky Marciano's 49-0 mark for most wins without a loss or draw, declared in the ring. Tonight was my last fight. Tonight I chose the right dance partner to dance with. Connor you are a hell of a champion. A win is a win, no matter how you get it. Rocky Marciano is a legend and I look forward to going into the Hall of Fame one day. The American's domination was complete by the 10th round as he moved in for the kill to record his first early finish since he stopped Victor Ortiz in controversial fashion almost six years ago. Whether the fight will be the richest of all time as promoters had predicted will be decided later when pay-per-view numbers come in, but it certainly will not be included on any list of the great bouts in boxing. On paper it would be hard to find a bigger mismatch, but it did not prevent millions around the globe from reaching for their wallets to purchase a pay-per-view package or the 14,623 spectators at T-Mobile Arena to part with big money for tickets. In the end, the fight proved to be the one-sided contest many had predicted as Mayweather shook off the rust of two years of inactivity against an outclassed WFC champion making his professional boxing debut. Clutching a bottle of Irish whiskey as he returned to the ring for the post-fight press conference, McGregor was pleased with his performance and rubbished the marks of two of the three judges who thought he had only won a solitary round. To most observers, McGregor won the opening three rounds, before fatigue began to settle in, an issue which the Irishman feels has hampered him before. I thought it was close, a defiant McGregor argued. I thought I had him in the early rounds. I thought he was getting me in the middle toward the end. But where was the final two rounds? Let me wobble back to me corner. Let me try and recompose myself. You've got to put me out. I thought it was a little early of a stoppage. I get like that when I am tired. I get a little wobbly and flowy. But you got to give it to him, that's what 50 pro fights will give you. The two super welterweight fighters had been preparing for the big boxing match for months and the event generated hype as the world waited to see who would become boxing's undisputed king. The audience was packed with 20,000 ravenous fans at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas with private jets ferrying celebrities into Sin City as bets worth more than a million dollars were placed on the match. Some of those A-listers who took their seats ringside were Bruce Willis, Leonardo DiCaprio, Jennifer Lopez, Vanessa Hudgens, Demi Lovato, and LeBron James, all spotted eagerly waiting for the big fight. The most unusual megafight in years went longer and was more competitive than many expected when an unbeaten, five-division world champion boxer took on a mixed martial artist making his pro boxing debut. McGregor became the best-paid debutant of all time, netting a $30 million dollar purse plus a share of ticket sales, pay-per-view and merchandising revenues, along with one-off sponsorship deals. With his cornermen decked out in natty gray suits and white shoes, and his two UFC belts held aloft in the ring, McGregor dwarfed Mayweather in height when they met in the middle. Mayweather only threw a handful of punches in the first two rounds, yet still grinned for the cameras in the breaks. McGregor covered his boxing deficiencies well, jabbing with his right and scoring despite his limited footwork. He occasionally strayed into mixed martial arts territory by rounding his opponent and landing strikes to the back of Mayweather's head. Ultimately, Mayweather's skills proved too much. He brutalized McGregor in the 10th, landing numerous shots and chasing McGregor around the ring until referee Robert Byrd saved the Irishman and stopped the fight. Mayweather said after the fight, he's a tough competitor. I think we gave the fans what they wanted to see. Our game plan was to take our time, let him shoot all his heavy shots early and then take him out at the end down the stretch. 
I gave the fans what they wanted to see. I told them that I owed them for the Pacquiao fight. I must come straight ahead and give them a show. Before his loss, McGregor made his ring walk with an Irish flag draped over his shoulders. He pumped his fists in the air to the crowd, which cheered loudly. McGregor's handlers held aloft his UFC title belts after he got into the ring for his first pro boxing match. Floyd Mayweather Jr. Meanwhile got a bit theatrical, wearing what looks like a ski mask under an oversized hat. He was greeted with a mixture of cheers and boos. The odds at fight time favored Mayweather by about a 5 to 1 margin. McGregor came sporting a shorter haircut than he had in the days leading up to the fight, with his girlfriend behind him pushing their three-month-old baby in a stroller. McGregor was calm and confident in his televised pre-fight interview, telling Showtime's Jim Gray that he would paint a beautiful picture in his fight against heavily favored Mayweather. He was subdued in the interview, and he was still wearing a dress shirt, tie and vest, even though his hands were already wrapped about an hour before the start of the bout. I'm going to go out and be myself free, spontaneous, creative, and paint a beautiful picture, he said. I see me truly outclassing this man and putting him to sleep. Bookies had faced taking a big loss because McGregor tickets outnumbered Mayweather tickets by as much as 18 to 1 at some books. But the big bet started coming in Thursday on Mayweather and at the William Hill chain of sports books 74% of the money on straight bets was on Mayweather. There were a handful of million-dollar bets on Mayweather, with three coming in just hours before the fight. The biggest reported bet on McGregor is $100,000. The men did not fight for a major boxing title when they met in the ring, but that did not stop the pair from creating their very own belt. Mayweather was a five-division world champion in his pomp but gave up his welterweight title after retiring in September 2015. McGregor also lays claim to the UFC lightweight belt, but the biggest fight of all time will not see a title change hands. The specially made money belt, however, was up for grabs. The stunning accessory was revealed in Las Vegas on Wednesday as the pair spoke with the press for the final time before their bout on Saturday evening. Made with alligator skin from Italy, the belt boasts an alleged 3,360 diamonds, 600 sapphires, 300 emeralds, 3 pounds of solid, 24 karat gold and was commissioned by World Boxing Organization President Mauricio Suleiman. The gold alone would be worth nearly $60,000 at today's prices, meaning the winner will be getting a nice kicker on top of their huge individual earnings.